Hi everyone, it's Ray from Pro Shring. Uh, today's um, conversation, I guess, or chat will be uh, not so much uh, a racket restringing tutorial. Uh, I will be restringing while I talk, but it's more to do with what types of strings kids or juniors should be using. Um, so it's a bit of a interesting conversation because this obviously is um, normally the, a lot of the coaches, tennis coaches out there giving advice to parents and kids that don't know better. Uh, so this is also for tennis coaches, uh, which uh, it seems, it really does seem that a lot of tennis coaches uh, in the nicest way possible don't even know the difference a lot of the times between a polyester string, a synthetic gut string, a multi-filament string, and a natural gut string. Right? Those are your four principal uh, types of strings. Um, so the reason I'm doing this video, somebody was, it was, a tennis coach had been asked what strings they currently had on the racket, which was a polyester and a, um, excuse me, <coughs> not the best timing for a sneeze, but hey, let's roll, let's roll with it. <laughs> Um, so a client had asked their coach what strings they had and they said it was a polyester with a natural gut. It was effectively a hybrid, but it was a polyester with, um, with a multi-filament string. So, but I just get it too far too often where coaches are making the wrong recommendations. So, uh, I'll try to make a long story short. If your child is, uh, anywhere between the age of I don't know, anywhere between the age of six, seven, anyone that's playing, any junior that's already playing from the baseline, seven, eight, let's say, um, and not breaking strings chronically, which is very rare to see. They should be breaking strings chronically. Uh, when I say chronically, maybe once a week, or once every two weeks, maybe that's chronic for a good junior. Um, they should not be using polyester strings. It's very important to take good care after your pupil, if you're a coach listening to your pupil, if you're a parent listening to your child, um, take care of their arm from a young age. So I string for one of the top under 12s or now under 14 uh, juniors uh, in the world, uh, top two or three in the UK, or number one under 12. Um, and he, for example, just set a really good example, he is now competing with a full set of polyester but always has a racket or two with multi-filament for practice purposes. So he's swapping, so he's still, you know, at a very high level for his age, 12 years old. Um, but he's, not, he's swapping between polyester and multi-filament. So when he's played a lot, he'll give his arm a little bit of a rest and play with the multi-filaments, which he breaks much quicker, uh, because it's a much softer string, much more arm friendly. Hence the reason I'm recommending, um, it's not even a recommendation, it's a fact that the multi-filaments are much softer, uh, and protect your elbow much more as a synthetica as well. Um, in general, synthetica is of a lower quality, still a soft string, um, and then of course you have the natural gut. So if you're uh, coaching a junior or have a child uh, that is a junior tennis player, do not let them use polyesters. It seems that most coaches just recommend what they have in the racket, and everybody's, to set an example, this is the most popular one, Babala RPM Blast Crazy or Hungry. It seems that all the coaches, RPM Blast, RPM Blast, RPM Blast. Coaches, stop with the RPM Blast for juniors. Stop with the polyester for the juniors. If you're not sure and you're a coach, speak with your stringer. Speak with a stringer that potentially, hopefully, they also have some good knowledge. Um, I'm just, I, I just feel bad for these kids that are you know, being told, use RPM. So every time I see a junior racket and the clients added RPM Blast, which I see it almost daily, um, I call up the client and say, listen, how old is your uh, son, daughter, or player? Uh, they'll say their age. You know, if it's under the age of 12, 13, I'll always tell them, if they're not breaking strings chronically, keep them in a multi-filament for as long as possible. Do your player or your child a favor. Stop with the, uh, the polyesters and the RPM blast. So if your coach is telling your child or player or whoever to use RPM blast or a polyester string, consult with your local stringer. Send me an email if you want, ray at pro-string.com. You can find my number on my, on my website, ProString. Um, you can call me for free on WhatsApp and I'll happily, happily help you uh, or advise you uh, as, to the best of my knowledge. So don't be, uh, don't be afraid to reach out. Instagram as well, ProString, just straight up ProString on Instagram. Um, 
yeah but be very careful guys honestly be very very careful you don't want your uh, children or players to have tennis elbow from a young age because tennis elbow is a massive nuisance and it's very hard to get rid of and can become chronic very quickly so be very careful with that guys multi-filament strings just to set an example i'm setting and i'm stringing with a uh, head velocity mlt which is a multi-filament string you've got the egg uh, Technifiber X1 Biophase, our own home brand, Pro String, Pure Multi Filament, Wilson NXT Power. Um, then you've got synthetic guts. There's a whole bunch of the. You've got so many synthetic guts out there. Even even that's a better option than polyester if you're not willing to fork out for a multi filament string, which is also fine. Also a, a good option. Uh, and then of course if you want to go all out and you want the most premium of the premium, creme de la creme, the natural gut will be your um, top option. Very expensive, should not get wet. No need really for a junior, junior to be using that, um, in my opinion. But if you, uh, if you really want to spoil your child, the natural gut. If they're at a point where they're getting a bit older, between the age of 10, 11, and they're really starting to hit a good ball and they're breaking almost weekly, then a hybrid could also be an option. You're still adding a bit of durability on the mains, let's say, and then softening things up for the arm uh, on the crosses. Uh, again, synthetic gut, multi-filament or natural gut, also completely uh, valid options for a hybrid setup. Guys, I hope that helps, but I'm just, I thought I need to make this video as soon as possible because uh, it's driving me mad. The amount of bad advice I'm seeing out there is just, it's crazy. Just a reminder, I'm also a tennis coach. Uh, I've coached all levels uh, from ATP to all the way to beginners. Ran a tennis club in Spain for 10 years, just outside of Marbella uh, in Mijas. Um, so yeah, I, I'd like to think I know what I'm talking about. Um, so be very careful with your choice selection, guys. Um, again, feel free to completely reach out, leave us a comment. Um, happy to advise as best as possible because kids deserve better than bad advice. They don't know better. They can't ask for themselves a lot of the times. Um, so there you have it. Children, parents of children, coaches of junior tennis player or children, Multi-filament, synthetic gut, natural gut. Unless they're breaking strings chronically, then maybe you can do a hybrid if they're at high enough level. If you're breaking string once a month, I don't think that's uh, of justice to go to polyester. Um, everyone's economic uh, situation is completely different. I completely know that and that's how it is, uh, unfortunately, in life. Then buy a reel. Buy a reel of a, a cheaper synthetic gut, maybe like Wilson Sensation. I'm um, sorry, multi-filament. Wilson Sensation is a good option as well. Not the best multi-filament out there, but it's cheaper. It'll do the job. It'll protect your uh, players, your young players' arm, uh, and that's kind of the prerogative. Uh, or a cheap synthetic gut. You can get Pros Pro. Uh, I hate advertising Pros Pro, but you know it's for the kids, so it doesn't matter. Uh, thirty pounds, thirty euros, thirty forty American dollars, something like that. It'll cost you maybe even less, um, depending where you buy from and what country you might be in. Guys, I hope this helps, uh, but I can't emphasize enough. Look after your children's arms when it comes to playing tennis. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, and uh, again, leave us any comment or anything that you may agree or disagree. If you disagree with anything I've said, be nice, be kind, be respectful, no need to rip my head off. Uh, but I'm pretty sure and uh, certain that my information is pretty accurate. Having coached lots of juniors of from the best in, in the world to, to beginners of junior ages and levels uh, that taught all levels uh, of juniors adults everything so um yeah all right guys take care have a nice day wherever you are and uh see you soon take care guys bye bye